Hello and welcome to Tabletop Odyssey. My name is Jay and today I'm going to be doing um, a bit of a strange video where I just talk to you for a second about why I think Fantasy Flight games should do a little bit of a better job with the release dates. Now obviously we have uh, Veers and the Snowtroopers are coming soon. Now if you look online and uh, people are saying the friendly local game store are saying maybe next week, maybe the week after, sometime very soon would be the word, if the bird is the word. But if you look on Fancy Flight's uh, game's website, you'll find nothing. You'll find maybe Q2 might be what it says. And I just feel like Fancy Flight games as a whole, like when I was trying to do a bit of X-Wing, I'm not didn't really get into X-Wing too much. It always seemed that I wanted to know when something was coming out and they wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> and I was like, well, okay, that's sort of okay. Especially with how much warning they give about it being on the boat and all that kind of stuff. That sort of makes sense. But it just got to a point where it was like impossible to know an exact release date. And we did get an exact release date with Star Wars Legion, the Corsair and the, you know, the first... Uh, bulk of it but was that adhered to no a lot of uh, stars and uh, stuff like that was selling it way earlier I mean some were selling it ridiculously early depending on the supply chains and that kind of thing and but at least we had a release date at least we knew vaguely when to expect it with Veers and the Snowtroopers it's probably next week in it but it's just so weird to me to not have an official release date now I wanted to make this video to want to show I'm not a GW hater because one thing GW does really well is their release dates. Now obviously they have a bit of an advantage in that they have probably a bigger supply network, they have their own stores to make sure that the street dates are um, upheld and that kind of thing, but their, their hype train is a lot different in a sense. They generally, well, they might tease the odd thing like they teased Kill Team for like the end of this year, so they will tease the odd really big thing. But uh, certain uh, like armies or codexes and stuff like that, they'll generally tease maybe a month at most in advance. Sometimes it's like two weeks. Oh, the Iden here are the Iden F Deepkin. Boom, two weeks later you can buy them. And obviously that's a very short hype window, but at least you know when to expect it and what you're getting. I personally like having advance warning about what's coming. I think that's fine. I just don't like not knowing like a a more accurate release date. Now, why don't they, why don't we get an accurate release date with them? One, it's it's probably just problems with the supply chain, in the sense that um, it's always it's going to be more complicated than I can understand, um, and possibly than, than I can even explain. So, I think they're all probably going to get manufactured in China. Once it gets sent to the printer, then you know pretty much they're sure that's what's going to come out, out at the end. Then they've got to ship it to everywhere. Now, it seems that. Um, they would, once it gets manufactured, they would then ship it to the distrib distributors. Now, that would probably be by boat. If it's coming to Europe, that can be a little while. If it's Australia, that can be a little bit quicker. That's why we saw some leaks from Australia being a little bit earlier, because it's closer to China than, say, the US and uh, Europe. So it makes sense. They don't want to store the print the like the completed sets because storing them is just a cost that doesn't do anything for them so what's probably happening is they're pumping them out as soon as they get them made that leads to certain distributors getting them earlier that leads to certain stores getting them earlier and that leads to people being like I, you've not even given us a release date and we're getting it next week because they can't tell you exactly when europe's going to have the delivery of these vias Oh, do you know what I mean? And it just leads, like, I understand, right? You don't want to have that cost and not being a logistics person myself, how can I say do it better? But a lot of other companies do it better. And like in the gaming sphere, it's a lot easier to do it now because um, a lot of games have gone digital. So there's a lot of people, a lot less people buying them in physical copies. But when games used to not be digital, they were still pretty much hitting those release dates. They would like go gold, they would get printed, they would get delivered within like two weeks. Obviously the, the problem with that is um, 
it take, probably takes a lot quicker, I presume, to print a disc than it is to make these miniatures and quality control them and stuff like that. But even so, my point being, it's it's really awkward to to like be hyped for something now when you don't know when it's coming. Now somebody said like, yeah, it's the they're probably just expecting you to be in your local store and stuff like that. Some people won't be going to their local store, so they won't have anybody to tell them when something's due. Um, they might be relying on official dates. I, and being like a YouTube channel, I don't want to come to you and be like, yeah, it's coming out in two, a week, three, whatever, some amount of time. I'd like to know exactly when it's coming out and maybe like plan around that. Now, obviously that's probably because I'm trying to do YouTube videos. If I wasn't YouTube, would I be less bothered? I think I actually still would be bothered. <laughs> um, there was a guy on the uh, Star Wars Legion Discord, which I do highly recommend that you go and check out. I'll try and put a link in the description below. Um, you can just find it, though. It's, it's quite easy to find on all the main sites. And they were saying that Destiny, apparently, the, the big thing in the Destiny community right now is that they want better release dates. They actually want to know when things are coming. And I'm, I'm like, yes, continue on that. That is the kind of thing we should actually be getting like i know <laughs> it's weird because i don't want to like come across as ungrateful in a way but i don't think it'd be that much to ask for them to work a little bit more on their supply chains like it i might be it, i think it would help them it would help build the hype for something and it would help people know when to actually buy the stuff like consumers or your customers should know when your product is coming out now i, I mean <laughs> I do have a business degree, but I don't want to be like, Brr. but in the very small amount that I remember, say, like in marketing, I'm fairly sure like um, having knowing your customers, knowing what your product is about is pretty important. And knowing the release date when it when they can actually buy it is just so obviously logically like needed that I'm so like surprised at how I don't want to say incompetent because as I said I know there's a lot of reasons for it, but just how bad it is right now. Like, I, I don't understand. If we're getting Vias and Snow Troopers within the next two weeks, I mean, and we don't have a release, enough, like a proper release date, to me that's just, it like, goes against all kind of like buying habits that I've ever done. Just knocking off some paint, whatever. That, I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I do come across angry. I'm not actually angry about it. As I said, I do understand why they have the problems with, they don't want to store it. They've got to get it to all different parts of the world at the same time. And I do really appreciate the fact that they don't like artificially, let's say like, okay, well the US is getting it and then we'll give it to Europe. It's like, right, you can all have it whenever you want or whenever you get it. So I do appreciate that. But if it's my one hope going forward as a business, I mean, there's a few things I hope for the game. You know, I'm, I'm very eager for Boba Fett right now. Just want that in my life. But if it's one thing I hope we see, I hope FFG get a little bit more um, capable of being able to deliver both hype before something comes out and um, we get proper release dates. But that's all I really wanted to say. I, I just wanted to also show that I'm not like a proper FFG lover and a GW fanboy. I actually can, I can throw shade at, at both sides now. I'm trying to do like a Johnny Mitchell, but it didn't really work. Um, if you like that video, do like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I mean, don't share this one, but let me know your thoughts. If you're a seasoned FFG um, buyer, is this something that's going to con just continue? Is there no hope in sight? Will we never reach those dreams of actually knowing when the stuff we want to buy is coming out? Let me know. <laughs> um, have a beautiful day and goodbye. Bye guys.